How's it? How's it, everybody? Welcome back to Scattered Island. I just realized that I've not been using the name of this town or the city we are building, but I just keep saying, Welcome back to the channel. So, yeah, welcome back to both, I suppose. We're starting off here looking at what is arguably my favorite view of this city, at least as of now. I love it when you turn on the focal length, on the cinematic camera, and you just appreciate this beautiful view. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But let's get out of there. We've got work to do today. So let's get planning. So last video, we got all of this done. We got this interchange completed i don't think i showed this on camera but it's nothing hectic it's just the roundabout that we finished off and then we had the off ramp onto it and an on ramp from here i'm gonna get rid of this road at some point because what i plan to do is to terraform this area a little bit so we'll terraform this area a bit flat probably today we'll leave a small little hill here and we will terraform and get stuff going in between since we're going to be building a city here, we'll just maintain a few hills just to add some, what's the word, je ne sais quoi to the build. That's about what we're going to be doing. What I did notice here though is that the traffic here is pretty bad, which really, really sucks. And I think that's because all these cars are going and then they're trying to cut across to get in there. So first order of the day, let's relocate this to right in front of the college right there and hopefully if we speed this up as a matter of fact i think i'm going to leave this game in speed mode this today so that we can get out of winter as soon as possible so that should hopefully get the cars getting in here much much better and then i think we can just put a high density or two building right here well medium density let those start growing out what was that nope wrong thing let's remove that let's get the american ones let's get that in there and let those grow out just so that we can start getting something going and then we'll come back and develop something along here at some point but the order of the day for today is to get the rail network in place if i have a look at the rail yard it is not a small asset it's quite a big asset but i think if i can set it here then we have enough space to be able to send the railway tracks back here and create some kind of a joint the side. I definitely plan on redoing this so that one is not even a concern. So if we plop this down here, then we will work the railway to come across. I'll probably have a cargo depot somewhere around here because I plan on relocating all of this industry off of this island onto this side of the map and then we'll work a railway line that is probably going to cut through here down this way it will come across and meet up with the main station that will be down here and then the plan is to work it out continue down this path get a railway station here and get one somewhere down here as well forming sort of the at the final station with the outskirts of the town the whole aim of this today's video is just to get a real line in but before we kick that off i see i've got pollution Ooh, that's not cool this industry here is starting to pollute the ground which is making its way here it's part of the reason why i want to relocate the industry but let's, let's just do this. Let's get rid of, I believe, these chappies. Let's get rid of these chappies. Bye-bye, bye-bye. You can stay for now. And I think that should be good enough until we are able to relocate everything. Now, if my memory serves me right from City Skylines 1, trees help speed up the cleaning up of the ground. So I hope that is still the case. Let's just dump a huge forest here and uh, it's probably going to be years before all of these grow. But hopefully they can help clean up the ground a bit for all of this 
or well, all these houses that are currently complaining about the pollution and let's plop one or two more down over here all right cool let's see if those chappies will stop complaining in time all right focus now is railway let's get the rail yard in let's set up some initial rail tracks down this way and then we'll probably start working at connecting this road up here as well cool let's get it in you know i actually realized that i have this this facing the wrong direction I think that connection is good enough. It's a single rail line in, but I'm assuming it's reversible. Can this be upgraded to have another one? It can. Okay, cool, great. So then we'll plop this one down at some point. The nice thing is that it doesn't expand too much. We'll upgrade it at some point, and then we will connect that up to this one. I need to acquire a bit of land which is all the way up to here because I want to terraform this. So if I look at the land that I can get, I've got five tiles I can buy. So one, two, three, four, five. I want this one as well, which means that I need to get myself to the next progression point so that I can get more tiles. So let's grab these. And then I think once we put down a couple of the railway stations, we should hopefully get a couple of points that will help us unlock unlock the, the next milestone. So I want the railway line here, but I want it to be parallel with the highway. So what we can try and do let's see if it will be possible for me to okay cool so that gets me sort of center the problem is that it wants me to it wants me to what's the what's the word elevate it before i can cross so if i do that we plop that down i can get you to come that way as well great then we can convert you to you and then i can run this all the way along here that should then allow me to be directly parallel with the highway assuming that this road is parallel with the highway which it kind of is so we'll take it we'll assume it to be the case and then we will grab the train station and we will plop it right there cool so then that gives me a connection and then we'll run these rail lines again along the river through through here and then cross it over to go and meet up with there Whoopee! Great town. We've got 12 more tiles that we are going to use. Oh, thank goodness. 
I was wondering when those were going to come. Now, the sad thing about this now is that the only way we're going to get into small city is we are going to need to expand and we are going to need to expand rapidly in order to get points. What's nice though is that we've got quite a number of development points that we can spend. So I want to come back to this at some point and buy a whole bunch of stuff that we'll be able to place down in order to accumulate more points. For now, let's finish off our terraforming. All right, let's see what this area looks like because I cannot see anything. But this works. This is actually what I wanted. That is this little hill over here that buffers the off-ramp. And then this is a, an available space for development. All of this will be developed through and it will go across the highway into this space over there. And then we're going to probably flatten out more of the land on this side when we manage to buy these tiles so that we continue development along the river with a small hill that's going to basically run along this side. Development sits here, development sits here, and we just have that nice natural landscape over there. What I'm going to do here is we're going to create a single bridge that is going to span this area I think 8.5 meters should be fine that spans right here and let's have a look at what that height is like cool so that's fine and then the idea now is that we're going to connect this up to that now I think I've brought this out a little too far so I'm gonna take it back a bit we will connect this all the way up to this bridge right there and now with this one i'm not sure if i'll be able to connect it nicely but let's see if i do that yeah i see the connection here looks kind of wonky so my best bet will be to connect it up either either over here nope it still looks wonky Back here, maybe. Hmm. These two have connected. Maybe immediately from here, I connect. Ah, oh, stop pressing the wrong button. Can we connect it to a point where it must look? It must look decent. Like. I'm not entirely happy with how that looks. See this, this doesn't, this isn't nice. I've tried various connections and it's just not working. <sighs> I give up. I give up. Why is it like this? Why are these? Why is it like this? I just, I, I'm, I, oh my goodness. Let's just grab, let's just grab this tile. Run it as two separate bridges so that everything connects up nicely. So that I don't lose my mind. Because at this point, I cannot explain how long I have been trying this off camera. Oh my good grief. Why in the world is there a gap there? Okay, maybe it's in my mind. You know what? I am done. I'm done. We've got something. We've got it bridged. Whether it is exactly what I wanted or not, honestly speaking right now, I don't care. I've probably edited the bulk of the hair ripping out that I've been doing. So right now it looks like I'm just talking rubbish and I don't know what I am. 
I've been going at it with this for a lot. In fact, here's one way you can check. Have a look at the time between when I started placing this down versus now. It is frustrating. <laughs> Woo, the quest for perfection will make somebody lose all of the hair on their head. Now, we will extend this out so that this comes around and it is going to go in this direction and this one is going to cut across and then go straight to somewhere around there all right let's do that okay so it's going that way this one has started its journey down this side I think I'm going to have to do a bit of terraforming here before I can continue. I obviously need to buy this tile. So we'll buy the tile, we'll extend it, we'll probably make it hit a station here and then it will navigate its way. With regards to this one, I, I'm currently caught between two minds, whether to tunnel it or to bridge it. So for now, I'm going to leave that over there. We will not touch it again. And ooh, did I get this parallel to that road? If I did, that would be a miracle, but I'm pretty sure I did not. But either way, it will extend and it's going to come and meet a final train station right over here. It's a pity we really didn't get a train station with just one one rail line because now we have to keep putting this these three down and it's just not cool all right let's grab that towel and then this opens up the space for us to bring this all the way across like so Yeah, and then start to bridge and I can bridge you nicely well well then I will take that that turned out way easier than I expected I will not say no. The only thing though is that it's very, very close to this chappy, which means that the only way I can get it around you is to bend the road. And if I bend it like that, then perhaps we can send this chappy straight, straight to there and then connect you up to the roundabout over here okay let's give this chap a road access shall we landscape needs some work yep that works we might redo all of these road networks but hey for now that works and then this road will then just go off in that direction and i'll leave it at that i will not connect connect it up to anything 
we'll figure it out later down the line. What I will do now though is I will slap down a ton of these chaps so that I do not have to worry about trees later. That all of these at least can start growing and I will be building in a forest. But at least the trees will be over here and grown. I just noticed that our landfill is full. Blech. That sucks. Which means I need an incineration plant. I don't know if I start emptying it. Begins emptying product garbage stored in the building will be transported to other available garbage facilities. So since there are none available, it will not go anywhere, I presume. This is... Allows garbage processing at a higher rate, enables the landfill to maintain much larger fleet of trucks. So I need an incineration plant, it would seem. So if I get into my... Okay, cool. Already bought an incineration plant. The question now is, where do I put it? Maybe this is not a bad spot for it. I know it's right up against the highway here, but look, if it pollutes the land here, it's not really that big a train smash. I'll leave all of these trees around it and then we'll have industry here and industry there and at least this way you know pollution is out of the way because i don't plan on doing any development here we'll just run the rail line through here and then more development that side cool so we've got that and now we can go ahead to you and tell you to start emptying and hopefully that should start sending all of that garbage to the incineration plant for it to be burnt up Right, we have an interchange now it's not really the best I'm not very happy with it but I'll be honest not every interchange in every city looks a picturesque interchange so this does the job that we need we've got the on and off coming from here and there we've got coming from here and we have getting on to there I converted this road into the highway one because i think the mergers look a bit better i'm not sure if okay i don't think i can remove these can i let me just check quickly if it's possible to remove no so these are pedestrian crossings so these lines are there whatever they are but it is what it is and the only other thing now is i want to convert the rest of this also into the highway one and then work work some kind of an off ram on ram onto here so that we can have roads on the side i think my only thing is okay i thought this land was steeper than it is it's actually not so maybe you know what let's see what we can get if we try and work an on and off ramp onto the side
Okay, we have something. So now we've got access from the industry that's going to be here. It will be able to get on to this place and we'll be able to also come off of this place and access the industry here. I'm not sure if I want to give a way onto the road going in that direction. It's something that I'll leave for a later time when we actually do the development around here. But for now, I think this works. Let's just get rid of that road. And in fact, I want to get rid of this road as well and probably just put something like this here. I mean, it's, it's still early stages, but hey, you know what? Oh no, that's not gonna look nice. So let's let's use that one, and we'll find something to put here. Cool. We've connected up the space. I think we can unpause. We should see all of our cars. Let's speed it up because I want to get out of winter. And look at that. Already, I have people coming in and out. I don't think these guys really intended to go via this route. I think it's just the fact that. Oh, who knows? Maybe they actually did intend on it. But it's nice to have another way in and out of this place that should alleviate quite a bit of traffic on this road and on that road. You know what? With that done, let's start moving the first set of industry here. So let's just put a little bit of industry in this little pocket and then we'll go and remove a couple from our first town. Alright, so these guys are complaining about everything. Not enough, not enough electricity, sewer, water. I wonder why that is the case. Is it because, yep, the highways do not carry electricity. So by converting this road into the highway, the electricity doesn't come down. Which means that the only way I'm going to get electricity in is to connect this up with this area here. And we can do that fairly quickly. All right, there we go. So that's connected up now. And we are good on this side. Cool. So we have got our first set of industry starting to take shape here. What I'm hoping is that once I unlock some of these industry driving signature buildings oh we've got a couple no this is residential never mind once we unlock a couple of these we'll come plop some of those signature ones here and boost the industrial i guess growth around this area now that i've moved one two three four i'm gonna go ahead and remove another four from this side and the reason is that this is causing a lot of land pollution over here so i want this area to start clearing out and let it slowly start to what's the word clean up the ground because once the ground is cleaned up we'll come back and we will probably come and rezone this entire area into farms and houses but that's for a future point in time. I've had a lot of these medium densities completely abandoned this place. And their main reason I'm guessing is, I have no idea actually, why are they abandoning that place? Is it because of noise pollution? Because it says noise pollution was low. So if we check noise, yeah, the highway noise does get to this area. So, probably going to move this maybe it will be worthwhile relocating this building as well to around here because i am going to have some high rises there then with those gone and i see the medium density ones are not complaining at all so what we can do then is rezone this area close to the highway into these smaller medium density ones Cool. So that should hopefully grow back out at the right time. Now, since we put this here, 
what I want to do is connect it also up and then we have all of these areas connected nicely. Cool, that's connected. It's a very, 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 very tiny bridge, which <laughs> I, I, no, <laughs> let's do this again. All right, I think that is better. At least that gives a nice bump up and then down again. I don't like the fact that this is coming down like this, but you know what? We will put some buildings around there and I'm sure it should be fine. I just dumped some trees here. I still haven't made up my mind as to whether or not I'm going to try and build keys all around here. But looking at the, the way keys get built at the moment, it seems a little bit finicky. I'm not sure I want to completely play around with those finicky things, but you know what? One never knows. I'm thinking that over here, once these trees grow up, I'll use this opportunity or I'll use the opportunity to build what is what will look like a park around here. And then we'll have a pedestrian bridge that will cross across. And then we'll just maintain a whole park, rich forest park along the river here and then keep the development you know stopping somewhere around here maybe right up to this edge so it just looks like we've got a natural park at this point come to think of it i'm not going to do that because i actually want to terraform this land over here a bit and just extend it out so we're gonna start off let's get a couple of tiles in fact i think these three tiles should do oh no whoop, whoop. Let's grab these three because I want this terraforming to just be very small around here. So let's grab those. We'll save the other seven for wherever it is that we need to build or buy. For now, we've bought these. Let's terraform this and just bring out a smaller island here. Right, so we've got that piece out the idea here now is that this will allow me to extend the city out a little bit this way and I'm thinking right here at either at the tip here or on this side perhaps we'll have I think you can unlock what is it and one of these tabs somewhere there's a ferris wheel so once we get hold of that We'll dump it in one of these locations. Maybe a big park here with all these trees once they are all grown up. So that's the plan there. I want to come up to this space and complete complete the the rail the railway station. I was thinking of perhaps grabbing the railway station and maybe placing it at a bit of an angle. But I see if I do that, I don't have enough room there. So an alternative is to place it maybe around here. Let's plop that down over there. And if it's over here, I think we can get the railway then to go under the highway and then join up with this one over here. That's connected up. At the moment, I'm operating as though this railway line is not going to really go anywhere. I don't, you know what, let's just remove those. There's no reason for, oh, that's why I didn't want those warnings. That's why I put out. Oh, 
are these warnings really just going to sit there the entire time? It is annoying, but it is what it is. So it's connected up. Now we can at least have a connection from here to here. And I'm probably going to put a station here as well. And we'll probably have another one over here. Last thing is I want to address a little bit of this demand, especially the office demand. So we're going to zone out some office spaces here. This area is ultimately going to become sort of medium density like this. So we will come back to this at some point. But for now, just so that we can drive a bit of demand for the medium density, I'm going to put some office spaces here so that we can get these houses that despawned to hopefully grow back. All right, let's get those offices in place. Alrighty, cool. So we've got some office spaces in. Demand is still completely through the roof. So we're going to keep adding a few more in and around. But what I like is I see it starting to rain again. Temperature is above zero. That means that the snow will soon be melting. And in fact, it looks like it's starting to already, which is awesome. One more thing I wanted to do is to terraform this space a little bit because I figured I'll use this as my education block. So terraform the, the land a little bit further out this way so that we can plonk the university here as well as all of those nice institutional buildings. So let's terraform this quickly and then I think we'll be calling it quits for today. The next we will come and start zoning out all of this. Right now, let's terraform. Okay, we're done. And you saw me checking earlier whether the university will fit here which I think it's a perfect fit. We'll probably put it somewhere around here. Probably somewhere around here will create a little thing coming out and then everything behind it will be a nice park of some sort. So that's the plan. We've got our first set of offices in and I think here I'm supposed to be making 16,000 loss per hour, but my money just keeps going up. So I am not complaining. I would really hope that the snow would melt faster than it's currently doing. Okay, I see here it's, it's mostly melted. Uh, not really. But I am not going to record another set of cinematics in, <laughs> in this white snow. So I am going to run the game full speed. I'm going to let the snow melt. And then we'll probably go out to the cinematics. So everybody, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the content. Hope you like the way the city is starting to shape out. I can't wait to start zoning in all of the medium and high density buildings that are effectively going to act as the, what's the word, the downtown area. Thank you all once again. Big shout out to all of my patrons. 
I really, really appreciate all the support that you show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Until the next one, everybody, keep safe, and I'll see you then. Cheers.